guys, I hope you're having a great day. So in this video, I'm gonna be working on some simple farmhouse style decor ideas to display some of my favorite photographs in my craft room. And I'm excited to work on these. One of the items I ordered, however, is not supposed to arrive till tomorrow. So this video will be filmed over a couple of days time. Hopefully I can get it done by the weekend, edited and uploaded and ready to go for next week. But that's what I'm gonna be sharing in this video. Let's get started. So I had this welcome fall sign that I had purchased at Dollar Tree last year in my craft supplies stash and I had a fun idea in mind for it. I ended up switching it up which I'll share in just a second but I'm really happy with how this one turned out. So I actually intended on painting this sign so I used sandpaper to rough up the shiny surface so that paint would have something to adhere to and I started painting it and then I changed my mind. So I wiped the paint off and started over. So instead of paint, I decided to switch gears and wrap the sign in this faux barn wood liner or wallpaper. It has an adhesive backing and I really like having this on hand. I used it in the back of my curio cabinet that I redid and I'll have that video linked below if you'd like to check that out. And it's very inexpensive. I purchased it off of Amazon. I really like the look of it. And I'll have the liner or the wallpaper linked below as well if you'd like to look into that further. And I am glad I switched things up and went with the faux barnwood look instead. Now I should have went ahead and painted it first because you could see a little bit of the gingham print or what was on the sign showing through. So I just wrapped it twice and that worked out great. And I really like how this one turned out. It's probably my favorite. So wait till you see the end result. The next thing I did was drill two holes into the top of the sign and use some jute twine and place that inside one of the holes. And then I tied a double knot just to secure it in place. And then I'm gonna string on some large round wood beads that are natural. I just really like that look and I thought that would be fun for a hanger for my new sign. I think the wood bead hanger just elevated this project so much. I'm really happy with how that looks. And they were quite inexpensive as well. I also purchased these off of Amazon. And if I don't forget, I will have those linked in the description below as well. And the next thing I did was just cut the extra string off. And then I used some small clothespins that I purchased at Dollar Tree and just used some E6000 to glue them in place onto the sign. And to finish this project and dress it up just a little bit further, I made a blessed decal to use on the sign. And I'm just really happy with it. I think it just gave it that finishing touch that it needed. And I think this is gonna look so pretty hanging and displaying some of my favorite photos in my craft room or wherever I decide to use it.
For the next project, I'm also using a sign I picked up at Dollar Tree and it has a little bit of glitter in the design and I want to paint this one. So I'm just using some scrap sandpaper to get all of the glitter off and then I will wipe it down and proceed to paint it. And I'm going to paint this one white. After I had the coverage that I wanted and the paint had dried, I just took some black acrylic paint and a foam sponge brush and then I went around the sign lightly in different areas just to give it more of a distressed or worn look. After the paint had dried, I chose to add a small wood clothespin. I believe I purchased this size at Walmart and I just used some E6000 to attach it and I think this is going to be such a fun little photo display on the wall and I could certainly see two or three of these in a grouping with different photos and I really like this look. For the next project, I'm just going to use this basket, dress it up a bit with some jute string and the same beads and same clothespins that I had purchased at Dollar Tree. And I think this is going to be a fun little photo display as well. So I'm just starting out by cutting my jute string to the size that I need and adding my wood beads. And I did end up putting some scotch tape on the end of the jute twine so that it is easier to string the beads. I chose to add one of the small clothespins every five beads onto my string and I just used E6000 to attach them and I think this is going to be such a pretty little photo display in my craft room. So after the glue had had plenty of time to dry, I tied each end of the string of beads and clothespins onto my basket and I just tied it at the top of each corner and I'm really liking how this turned out. Plus I can easily take it off if I change my mind and want to do something else with this basket. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're new to my channel I share a lot of budget friendly DIY home and lifestyle content and if you like that sort of thing if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up to let me know and I would love it if you hit subscribe and hung around. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.